Hey everyone, hope you all enjoyed this golden teacher mycelial growth kind of time lapse and be sure to check the video description for links to products that were used in this video. The grain bag here is 100% sterilized millet and hardwood oak with a self-healing injection port and micron filter built in. We start on day 8 after inoculation because that's when mycelium began to visibly form. You can see she's looking lovely and contaminant free and this is a perfect time to name her. Celia. The cool thing about Celia sitting on this shelf is the shelf lines act as a grid so you can really monitor progress if you focus on specific sections of the grid. And I'm only going to narrate the highlights of this process so sit back, relax, and enjoy experiencing Celia's journey. At day 24, Celia had colonized well over 10% of the bag, so to speed up colonization time moving forward, this was a good time to break her up and spread her out. This accelerates things in two different ways. First, spreading the mycelium evenly throughout the entire bag helps ensure that all of it isn't competing for the little bit of nutrition in just that tiny bottom section of the bag it was mainly growing in. Once spread out, Celia now has plenty of room and food to grow in all directions. Second, mixing up the bag creates a gas exchange through the micron filter. Out with the carbon dioxide and in with the oxygen. This happens naturally as the bag is manipulated. No need to open or remove anything. You'll notice by the time this step is finished, you can barely even see the mycelium anymore. back on the shelf she goes. Here on day 25, the very next day, you can see she's everywhere and has plenty of food all around. You'll also notice condensation in the bag. Just two days later, day 26, you can see the results of both accelerated growth and gas exchanges with very noticeable condensation in the bag. No additional moisture was ever added during any part of the entire colonization process. We start seeing multiple angles of Celia since she's growing all over instead of just at the bottom of the bag. And you can really start to notice the uptick in growth speed. Day 32, most of the bag is colonized, but interestingly, the sides of the bag that received the least amount of light seem to be lagging. 
We just need a little more time for these sides. And by day 38, the final side is done. It'd be really easy to confuse the specks in there as a contaminant. However, you'll notice each grain only has one speck, and this is just how it looks when the grain is pressed against the bag without mycelium covering that tiny section of it. And this means it's time to prep the bulk substrate. Thanks for watching, and more videos on additional steps from spore to fruited body coming soon. And if you've made it all the way to this point in the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. It would be super helpful and appreciated. Thank you.